With the Baxi, you get a template, like most boilers. However, you can tell here, it's got an internal fit flue, internal fit flue, which is highlighted by that sort of uh, spotty bit. So that would be this one here, right? That's the bit you'd use. However, we've got a standard elbow. So when we look at the standard elbow, it shows that we're fitting it onto the boiler where the flue test points are. Whereas this elbow has the flue test points on it. We can tell that we're fitting it onto there. To measure up against the current hole, we're using this bit. So we can tell that's within there. Maybe just a bit more to the right. But that brings it down a bit lower, unfortunately. So if you wanted uh, a sort of snugger fit, then you'd go for that. That's the bracket on the wall. It's all level. To put it on, I'm going to figure out once it's on where the uh, magnetic filter is going on. It came with a magnetic filter. I'm not sure what magnetic filter, so I'm just going to put it on and just see what it looks like. Here we have the Baxi. 800 series so as you can tell at the back it's got a space built in for pipes to go around the back and this is amazing now the thing that i love about backsies so light well light ish on the wall we can kind of get an idea now what we're working with so we can tell that all we have to do i have covered the gas pipe up uh just so dust doesn't get in there so as you can tell that lines up there and what we'll have to do is bring the pipes down through here and figure that out but i'm going to do it whilst the boiler is on the wall let's open this bad boy up oh it's a tiny one <laughs> I don't think I've ever fitted one of these. <laughs> That's perfect. There wasn't one here before, so yeah. I mean, that's a, that's perfect, actually. So we pasting up this bit here. It does come with these. So all you do is paste it up. Get that bit in there. And we'll tighten it up. Now, the bit that you put the grips on isn't that big, so it is what it is. So I'm just going to tighten that. Uh, I've not put on any washers, but that will go in underneath like that. So now all we need to do with this is measure the pipe from here to there. Now, I've put on that bracket there and marked it up. So once that's all marked up, it's connected up. It comes with the Baxi boiler. That aligns everything and that's gonna hold the pipe in place. Okay. On here. So that looks good to me. So what I need to do now is solder this part before it goes behind the boiler. And then, uh, yeah, that should do it. There we go. <clears throat> so that's in there. Goes up there. I've had to clip it here as well. I can literally move this up and down just like that and then it goes up there so then we just need to connect it up there we can see it touching there I mean although it's a bit off so there's a bit of a gap just here so what we're gonna do is measure that gap 
that gap is three and a half. Okay, three and a half centimeters. So that means I need to cut off three and a half centimeters from there. So just around there. That's done. So there we go. Now there's still a bit of water in the system, so I like to use Yorkshire fittings or soldering fittings because sometimes they solder even if there's some water because the solder is already in there. Just like that. Now this might fall out, so what we're going to do is just push this up. We'll start pushing it up slowly and we're going to have a look. go that's in and we're just going to tighten this up so that it pushes all the way up and this is in as far as it can go in so there we go just going to tighten up in here I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, of solder on this So that's it. There we go. So now I'm just going to tighten it in. Once it's tightened in, we know that's the right position for it. And we can cut it at the top. That's it. And that should still fit, hopefully. There we go, so that's where we want it. I'm gonna tighten that on. And I'm gonna push fit this on. Just like that. I can put the key back in and twist it. So that means that it's locked in place now. You can tell that that's the PRV bit there. This is what the PRV pipe looks like. Slide it on. So I'm just gonna lubricate it a little bit on the O-ring. And we're just gonna push. There we go, so that's on. Some O-rings within there. There are also some O-rings on this side. O-rings are there, so that's the side we put in here. All right, so all we do is line it up, push down. You might need a bit of a rock back and forth. You can also go left and right like that. And obviously we've put silicon grease as well to let it slide in. You don't want to do this dry. Now that's lining up to go out there. So put the tape measure in. So just there, just the outside of the flue. And now we can have a look here. That is about 40 centimeters. The fact that the flue has to go in. Okay, so let's have a quick look just for demonstrations purposes. From those notches, we're looking at an additional four, is that four? Four and a half centimeters. Four. We're looking at 44 centimeters. Now what I like to do is before I even cut, I put on this weather collar just to get an idea of where I want it to sit in. Right, so we're going to put that on there. We don't want the plastic in the wall. So, as you can tell there, we're going all the way up close to that. We're going to put that up to there, because that's where we want the wall to end, right? And then we're going to measure 44 centimeters, which is around here. And I'm gonna mark it. 44 centimeters. Then all I have to do is go around again. Mark a quarter of the way through. 44 centimeters. Right, so that's all cut, there we go. There we go, so it's all going in now. Right, 
right, so then what we're going to do now is try to align everything. So there we go, lining it all so that it all fits in there. And then we can uh, now have a look. It's not pushed in yet, but as we push it in from the outside, it's all, it's all aligned. So now that it's aligned, that's how much has to go in. There we go. Now as we head outside, have a quick look. There we go, nice and clean, not even a single bit of white. Now if we look over to the neighbors, they've got lots of white showing there and nothing here. So yeah, perfect. Turn the gas back on before I do a tightness test. I'm just gonna spray all the bits that I've touched, including the handle, which can also leak. I'm gonna spray underneath the boiler here as well, making sure that all of these connections are nice and safe. So there we go, this is the boiler. So as you can see, you've got the heat exchanger here. So we've got the fan, we've got the gas valve, pump, pressure gauge, expansion vessel. And then over here is the condense trap. We've got the PLV just right there. This section, which actually attaches here, I've just taken it off temporarily. But attaches there it says live neutral earth live neutral earth okay now we've got these two others we've got a gray and a black right so now we've got to figure out what they are and if we look over here we obviously want the programmer on so we need to find out what these do so if we look close it says 230 volts in 230 volts out so as we follow along, we come up here. This is the wire. Comes in here. And we've got grey. So let's follow the grey first. The grey appears to go with all the browns, right? And I know that these aren't just brown, they are actually lives. So these are all lives. And then if we follow the black, Follow the black here, it goes here to all the other black wires. So this black wire goes here to the froster. Okay, so that's the black. So this is the out, and the black is the programmer out. So, ugh. so if we look here, that's what we're going to do. So that is a plug here. It goes like that so we would want live in so we're gonna do live in here with the gray and this one is gonna be out so I've done it with it out and now it's time to put it back in again if we look at this this is nothing by the way this is just a packer you can actually cut that out it's not it's not a wire so if we read through again 230 in 230 out which is the black if you want to use open therm then you need to connect it here so if we look at the open therm ot it's this one here so you disconnect this link and you connect via open therm out of there okay bleeding this one they were using oil uh, heaters these and it melted it it wasn't on it but it was close to it <laughs> so all we're doing here is flushing so we've got the magnet lens on as you can tell it's on the return before it gets to the boiler all we do here is we open up the filling loop and stop filling up whilst we drain so this is draining down And as you can tell, pouring out very clean at the moment. Oops, tripping over. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if we end up closing this, for instance, just a bit, you'll see this start to drop. 
because it's draining down. So we have to open it up a bit more to the point that it's balancing. So as you can tell, it's balancing right in the middle. If you find that it's draining down more than it's uh, topping up or not staying stable, you can adjust this, okay? So that it drains down slower so that this stays stable and the boiler keeps running because you want it pumping around. 